Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there lay a small village at the edge of the woods. I've always loved Into the Woods. I saw it on stage in 1987, and it was just a magical, important, exquisite piece. And I just remember just being transported by it. Rob and I have both seen the original production, and it had a big impact. What is it you wish? It's not what I wish. It's what you wish. So when we were looking for something to translate to film, we, we had a whole list of things. We had new scripts, we had old scripts, we had musicals, we had non-musicals. And Into the Woods kept popping up to the top of the list because of the subject matter, because it was a musical, but it was a musical with meaning and something that Rob felt very, very close to and connected to. It's such a classic story and a classic show, but it's hard to define. It's adventure and drama and comedy, and it is kind of genre-bending. You are my true bride. Taking fairy tales and retelling those fairy tales for the same reasons, but having a different kind of effect and a different kind of outcome is kind of genius. I love you, truly. I do. If you love me, why did you stray? And you have to give credit for that to James Lapine as the author of the musical and Steve Sondheim as the author of the lyrics and the music. Don't you know what's out there in the world? Stephen Sondheim's a legend. Someone has to shield you from the world. For me, it was about community responsibility. Uh, in the first part, everybody acts for themselves, and it brings down disasters. <laughs> and in the second part, they have to work together as a community to correct their error. And that seemed to me something to write about. Told a little lie. Stole a little gold. There is no one like Stephen Sondheim. The intelligence and the daring that's in his music is unparalleled. Had to get your prince. Had to get your cow. Had to get your wish. Doesn't matter how. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. It's the last midnight. There have been many attempts through the years to translate and adapt into the woods from the stage to the screen couple false starts. And uh, a couple years ago, Rob Marshall came to me. He and I had worked together on a movie called Nine, a movie musical. And Rob said, I think it's time for a cinematic version. Go to the wood! I really feel in many ways that Into the Woods is a fairy tale for the 21st century. Mother cannot guide you. Now you're on your own. It's an important message for today. How do you get through the day with the unstable world we live in? And it's with each other uh, as a collective group, as a collective people. No one is alone. Truly, no one is alone. That really sparked something for me. And I think they were really way ahead of their time, Steve Sondheim and James Lapine, when they put this together. And so I asked James Lapine if he would write the screenplay. Your father was no father, so why should you be? It's been wonderful having Into the Woods for the last 25 years and seeing various productions. And I think revisiting your material is a great opportunity to carry it along in your own life. I ran away from my guilt and my shame. And your son. So it speaks to me in a whole different way than it did when I set out to write it. Aren't you running away? Be better than me. I think about working with Rob, it's a director's medium filmmaking, and I really enjoyed the opportunity to turn the material over to him and was grateful to have the opportunity to write it with him. In terms of the adaptation, what works on stage doesn't necessarily mean it works on screen. They recognized and were enthusiastic about this would work better on screen if we did X instead of Y. We need
needed to look at it from a different angle. As an example, we're able to reconceive this number on the steps of the palace for Cinderella, and so Steve Sondheim wrote new lyrics, so that would all work. So I'll pry up my shoes Wait, no thinking it through Things don't have to collide I know what my decision is, which is not to decide It was great and terrifying to be in the recording studio and have Steve and Sondheim just kind of knock on the door in between takes and hand you like freshly scribbled new lyrics and I'm just singing them. This is, I don't know what's happening right now. This is incredible. And I've learned something too, something I never knew. On the steps of the palace. Directing a musical is among the most challenging efforts that a director can make, either on stage or on film. And that is because in a musical, there are so many moving parts. There are so many variables. To have all those moving pieces be seamlessly assembled together is a talent that is rare, and it's one of the qualities that makes Rob particularly well-suited, if not unique, to direct a film like Into the Woods. I have a great vantage point. I get to watch it all. I get to see how Rob creates this world. And Rob just has a great way of making everybody feel confident in what they do. He never imposes his artistic sense before he listens and hears everything. He never just jumps in and goes off. He listens absolutely to everybody, processes it, and then moves forward. Action. Rob is sort of the perfect guy to do this and to be able to envision it and to translate that vision to the actors, to the designers. Rob has the beat in his head. He's got the metronome of the movie going all the time. And so he has a, a sense of its pace and its movement. And he's all about the work and making it happen. One of the elements that I loved about this piece immediately is the whole opening prologue is sung pretty much. I mean, it moves in and out of dialogue, but it's pretty much sung and it's a 16 minute piece and it introduces the language of the film. Into the woods to lift the spell. Into the woods to visit mother. And because you have that language, you then understand, oh, that's how we're gonna be told the story and lets you understand that this will be stylized. Well, not to lose the way. Into the woods, who knows what may be lost on the journey. Into the woods. This is a fairy tale. This can be told in a different way. Into the woods to be the king. To sell the cow. To make the potions. To see, to sell, to get, to bring, to make, to live. It sort of awakens something you already know about relationships and the complexity and the forgiveness. And it's a very tender, compassionate movie. 